So within this updated video tutorial, I want to cover more uh, defining aspects of how to get started with ProfitSpy. I created an original video that um, would help you get started, but I still received a lot of questions from demo users, and I want to really try and answer those questions on this updated video here and actually go through in detail on how to get started um, using ProfitSpy. Okay, so pay close attention and I would highly recommend get out a notepad, paper, or notepad on your computer and just start taking notes. Okay, so I want to go ahead and get started with one of the most important aspects of ProfitSpy going on Amazon and be able to find categories to scrape from. Now, first and foremost, most important part is starting right here with this drop down. Okay, you want to utilize this drop down, this drop down only, not this one. Found a lot of people that weren't paying attention on the training videos, previous ones, and we're trying to pull from this. You want to pull from this uh, drop down right here. Okay, now let's just go to, for example, I don't know, patio, lawn, and garden. Okay. All right, so we're looking for grid listings. From here, we can choose any one of these subcategories, or we can go over here and you got the subcategories located on this page and also right here. Okay. Um, now let's try gardening. Now you'll notice that some of these, uh, you if you you want to go as broad as possible in a within a particular category. I would say this right here is the master category, and then you have the main category. And then you have the subcategories right here. So master, main, subs. All right. So some of these will, some of these categories you'll be able to click on. Some of them, though, you will not. And you'll have to go into a subcategory, which are a little bit more, you know, refined within the search and you pull less listings, but, you know, it's, it's a bit more accurate as well. As far as if you only want to sell maybe garden tools and seeds, then you would just stick to these two. But anyway, I always like to somewhat go into these category listings here and see if there are grid listings that I can pull from. And this one has grid listings. Good. You'll notice though on some of these, um, I don't know, we'll try hydroponics here. Okay, that one's grid listings too. Some of these categories do not have grid listings. When it comes down to that, you can try to choose another category, or you're going to have to go to the subcategories right here. All right, so it's like for this page, we do have, um, yeah, we do have a grid listing. Second thing you want to look for: make sure that this URL is present and that it's long. When I mean long, I mean you know it'll span across the search bar or across the URL bar right here at the top. And uh, if it is short, say maybe like so, maybe this short, then uh, chances are it's not going to work. You need to choose um, a, a subcategory within that category. All right. I would say maybe one out of 50 um, of these categories or subcategories has a short URL. And if you would do me a favor, if you do come across one of these short URLs, one of these subcategories, we can't get it to work. You just need to report it into the help desk. And you can do that from the Profit Spy um, dashboard. Okay, just click on Upgrade Plan. So, all right, just log in here, um, create an account if you want, or you'll need to create an account, and then uh, yeah, just submit what URL that's not working for you. If it's a URL that's supposed to be working, because Amazon changes all the time, it's an ecosystem that is constantly changing, then we'll update. Uh, that category subcategory and get it working for you within the next you know a couple days all right so <clears throat> let's uh, yeah go ahead and scrape from let me refresh this page here let's go back go back into gardening okay so we're to make sure this is a long URL and we have grid listings here okay and let's copy this Okay, and we have gardening tools. Copy the URL here. You put your notes right here if you want to put place notes there. Always leave this the same. Keywords to match up. I like to keep it between six and eight. 
You can make it more loose or strict as uh, you so see fit. Uh, fixed price, I like to start at 10. I recommend 10 at the most, maybe 20. You're still going to get a lot of products that you pull that are going to have five, ten, fifteen dollar profit, twenty dollar profit margins, even if you set this low. Because what you're essentially doing is setting the baseline profit margin. So if you select ten right here, then you're basically telling Profit Spy you want to retrieve items with a profit margin of ten percent and above. All right. So um, just setting a low number here is not going to bring back you know like um, items that only have a couple dollar profit margins okay so anyway let's hit uh, save and start scraping here okay so you'll notice um, you know as soon as you start I'll have zero to zero give it a you know about two or three seconds then you go over here and you hit refresh alright now when you get the two out of four hundred that means it has started and it's doing its job Okay, so let's take a look at a few other categories or items that you do not want to scrape from. Um, best sellers, typically, no, these do not scrape. So you see the big difference between this type of grid listing that only has the title, it has the uh, reviews and the um, price right here, okay? There's not a lot of content right here compared to the grid listings. And, you know, you have these up and down arrows here okay you can really see the difference between these all right a lot more information a lot more bulky don't have those up and down arrows all right this is what you want to look for not the ones here under best sellers now let's take a look here some categories that you want to watch out for or stay away from I mean it's again this is all up to you but don't expect a lot of results from you know some of these subcategories is like uh, let's see drip systems okay look I only got 1176 to scrape from and this and then here's another um, type of product listing that you need to stay away from these right here these will not scrape this is an Ajax slider okay these will not scrape these will not scrape these will okay so Profit Spy will still pick up these items right here. And you see it's one out of, what, 50 pages? That's not really that much. So when you go to scrape a small subcategory like this, do not expect to receive a whole lot of results. You're probably going to see something under 10 results. All right. So, um, again, if you're specifically looking for drip systems, by all means, go for it. But uh, if you're just trying to look for a lot of really good items to sell and to start out with, you know, I would stick to the categories right here, all right? Long care, all right? And as you can see right here, we have a grid listing, all right? And then we could go to a few of these other subcategories, but this one right here is perfect because it, this category includes all these subcategories. So if you did want to drill down more narrow, then you can try one of these subcategories. Or if you want to go broad and just try to scrape as many products as possible that you can resell, then um, you know, scraping on a category is great for that. You see right here, this says 400. That means that it's a broad category to scrape from. Let's go back to the Profit Spy dashboard. And uh, there's a few other notes that I want to cover within this video tutorial. One, um, while these are running, you can still go in and check out the products and do whatever you want to with these. Take a look at what you got and delete items if you want to as well. The only thing that you can't do while... A scraper is running is update you do not want to update these because it will not work you have to wait until the scraper is actually finished in order to update all right and lastly I want to define some of the um, items here and what the correct titles of them are so you'll know what I'm referring to when I say you only have six Amazon category groups total to scrape from. So Amazon category groups, these are the Amazon categories, they're groups, groups of um, you know, products. So these are the Amazon category groups. 
and you know when it says two active simultaneous scrapers these are the scrapers right here so right here we're stating that there's only two scrapers that can run at the same time if I was to try to activate another third scraper it would not work okay and it will let you know um, profit spy would let you know as well stating that the um, scraper cannot be initialized uh, access typically the demos are around two to three or four or five hours long um, it's just for you to kind of get inside here play with the program um, scrape maybe a few categories check out the items just to see that you know everything works everything's on the up and up and um, yeah so that's it once once we're done we'll you know um, the Skype representative will let you know that the demo has been completed and uh, typically what you would like to do from there okay so and as far as you know having any sort of limitations on the full package again the agent comes with um, 10 Amazon group totals you can have up here at the same time you'll have limitations you won't be able to use the um, Amazon updates feature right here on the agent with the detective you will have the Amazon updates right here these will be available for you and you'll be able to scrape two at a time as compared to the agent where you can only scrape one at a time and then the secret spy which is the top elite plan you'll have three of these scrapers that you can have active at the same time okay you'll be able to scrape a whole boatload of products um, with three active scrapers and then um, you also have you know access to Skype support and um, you know update pricing right here the Amazon update pricing okay which you can view more of that in details on uh, a later video that you'll be able to see below so that concludes our setup tutorial for profit spy all right I hope you took notes um, if you want to view more details about other parts of profit spy just view the videos below this one all right thank you very much and have a great one